In this video, we're going to be doing a quick review of polar graphing and how to plot points and converting back and forth between polar and rectangular form. So previously, when we were working in function form, when I gave you an ordered pair, that would be an x and a y, and we would go ahead and graph it on an xy coordinate plane. Now what we're going to be doing is graphing on a polar curve. So this is what our polar graph hat patch looks like and your ordered pair is going to be your r and comma theta. So this is your distance from the origin, which is going to be 0. So this is r equals 0. This first circle would give you r equals 1. The second circle is r equals 2, etc. And then this is theta, your angle. So if this is theta equals 0, then this is 30 degrees, which is pi 6. This is your pi fourths, this would be pi thirds, pi halves, all the way around to 2 pi again. Okay, so we plot a order pair, so 3 comma pi thirds, so I'm going to be 3 units out on the r, distance from 0, and then pi thirds is right here, so this would be point A. Now, Point B, notice we can go in the opposite direction. So negative 5 pi 6, so we're going to be 4 units out. There's my R, but instead of going this direction, we're going to go the opposite direction because your angle has a negative sign. So negative 5 pi 6 would take you all the way over here, and this would be point B. Okay. The other thing that we want to be able to do with polar is be able to go back and forth between polar and rectangular form. These are the conversion equations from pre-calc that you'll have to know. So x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, y divided by x, and if you do that, if you divide these, right, y divided by x leaves you with tangent, and then x squared plus y squared equals r squared, because you have x squared plus y squared, so really sine squared plus cosine squared is going to be r equals r squared. Okay, so... If I want to go from rectangular form to polar form, I don't want any more x's and y's. I want everything to be r's and theta's now. So I'm just going to replace the x with r cosine, replace the y with r sine. This is polar form, and then we can solve for whatever we need to. If I ask you to solve for r, we can factor things like that. Here, x squared plus y squared is the same as r squared, so this would be r squared equals 9. If you want to solve for r, you get plus or minus 3. Notice this is an equation of a circle. r equals plus or minus 3 is also an equation of a circle, just in polar form. Okay, now if we want to go from polar to rectangular. So I don't want r's and theta's. I want everything to be in terms of x's and y's. But for x, I need r cosine theta. The only thing I have is cosine, so I need an r there. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the right side by r, but anything I do to the left, I'm going to do to the right. So if I do that, you get r squared equals 3 r cosine theta. So the r squared can be replaced with y squared plus x squared plus y squared. This will all become x, so there's my rectangular form. And I can do the same thing on this side. I'm missing an r, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by r. So this is x squared plus y squared, and this will become y.